Welcome to the sixth Counter Foundation class. This tutorial explains the new database reports and how to use them. In Release 5, there are three reports that provide information about database usage. The Database Master Report, or DR, shows activity across all metrics for entire databases or fixed collections of content which behave like a database. The DR can be filtered according to user needs and has two standard views. Standard view DRD1 shows total item investigations and requests, as well as searches. The metric types in this report are searches automated, searches federated, searches regular, total item investigations, and total item requests. Standard view DRD2 shows where users were denied access because their simultaneous use or concurrency licenses were exceeded or their institution did not have a license for the database. The metric types in this report are limit exceeded and no license. Let's take a closer look at the search metrics. Searches regular shows the number of times a user searches a database where they have actively chosen that database from a list of options, or there is only one database available to search. Searches automated shows the number of times that a user searches a database where they have not actively chosen that database from a list of options. That is, searches automated is recorded when the platform offers a search across multiple databases by default, but the user has not elected to limit their search to a subset of those databases. Searches platform shows the number of times a user searches a database regardless of the number of databases involved in the search. And finally, searches federated is the number of times a search is run remotely through an API. Let's take a look at search metrics in action. Susan is researching the history of antibiotics on publisher platform Alpha. She runs a search for history and antibiotics. The counts are 1 searches regular, 0 searches automated, 1 searches platform, and 0 searches federated. Alternatively, if publisher platform Alpha included multiple databases and Susan searched for history and antibiotics, the counts would be searches regular 0, searches automated 1, searches platform 1, and searches federated 0. If Susan then selects the History of Medicine database and reruns her search, the counts increment to show searches regular 1, searches automated 1, such as Platform 2, and such as Federated 0. If, in a separate session, Susan uses an API to search the publisher platform, the counts would be 0 for such as Regular, such as Automated, and such as Platform, and 1 for such as Federated. Key metrics depend on the type of database being analysed. Total Item Requests applies for full-text databases, and Total Item Investigations counts for non-full-text databases, also known as Abstracting and Indexing or Citation-only databases. Foundation Class 2 described metrics in more details, but here is a quick recap about the difference between Requests and Investigations as applied for DRD1. Total Item Requests shows the total number of times the full text of a content item was downloaded or viewed, where Total Item Investigations shows the total number of times metadata associated with a content item was downloaded or viewed. Let's look at another scenario, Susan's investigation and request activity on a full text database. As before, Susan is researching the history of antibiotics on Publisher Platform Alpha full text database. There's only one database available to search on this platform, and from the list of search results, Susan opens the following items. Two article abstracts from the Journal of Antibiotics of Fun, and one article abstract from the Journal of Medical Historical Trivia. Susan then triggers additional investigation and some request metrics by downloading two full-text articles from the Journal of Antibiotics of Fun. This truncated example of the DRD1 report shows how Susan's search, request and investigation metrics will be reported for the publisher platform Alpha. Search is regular 1, total item investigations 5, and total item requests 2. Because the database includes full text, Susan's librarian should use total item requests when analysing usage of the database. The librarian is also likely to use the title master report and its standard views to see the usage of journals and books in the database. 
Now we will look at Susan's activity on a non-full text database, Gamma. She found the articles from the Journal of Antibiotics are Fun very useful and wants to read more articles by the same author. Susan therefore runs a search on the author's name on Gamma. From the list of search results, she opens three abstract records about journal articles from this author. This truncated example of the DRD1 report shows how Susan's search and investigations will be reported for database Gamma. Searches regular, one, and total item investigations, three. Because the database has no full text, Susan's librarian should use total item investigations when analysing the usage of this database. Total item investigations replaces the result clicks metric that was in release four of the counter code of practice. Thank you for listening. Visit our Counter YouTube channel to find more foundation classes from Counter.